Welcome to the beautiful Central African country, the Democratic Republic of Congo. Throughout this presentation, you will hear us refer to it as Dr. Congo. Its official language is French, however you can hear other languages there such as Swahili, Tshiluba, and Lingala. They currently function as a semi-presidential republic as their acting president as Joseph Kabila. Their current prime minister is Augustin Matadapano. They gained their independence from Belgium on June 30th, 1960. Their population as of 2013 was 75,507. 308. Also, Dr. Congo's GDP is 55 billion U.S. dollars with a per capita of 694 U.S. dollars. Dr. Congo is currently the 11th largest country in the world and the 19th most populated. The country's motto is as follows Justin Pax Travail, which translates from French as Justice, Peace, Work. Next, we discuss Dr. Congo's religions. Christianity is the most popular religion, as 95% claim to follow the teachings. 1.8% are indigenous, while Islam accounts for 3.2% of beliefs. In earlier times, riverboat racing and wrestling were very popular. Here is a representation of wrestling and riverboat racing. <laughs> Interestingly, the famous fight between Muhammad Ali and George Foreman was held in the stadium in Dr. Congo. The greatest industry in Dr. Congo is mining. Some minerals that are mined in Dr. Congo are copper and cobalt, and they also provide 30% of the world's diamonds. Forestry and fishing also play a major role in Dr. Congo's economy. 50% of African forests are found in Dr. Congo, and their river systems could provide enough hydroelectric power to fuel the entire continent. Forests cover 60% of the total land area in Dr. Congo, and fish are the most common meat consumed there. Formerly the Belgium Congo, Negrito people lived in this territory. In 1877, an American traveler, Henry M. Stanley, navigated the Congo River and opened it for exploration. Stanley made treaties with native chiefs so he could obtain personal titles to the territory. Stanley then gave up control to King Leopold II of the Belgians. Under the rule of Leopold, millions of people died from starvation. The administration of Belgium took over, however they were overthrown in 1960. From then, the nation was renamed the Democratic Republic of Congo, or Dr. Congo. Since that time, it has been ruled by differing presidents and prime ministers. Finally, Dr. Congo has many cons and very little pros. Some have described Dr. Congo as one of the worst places to live. For the love of all that is holy, do not, under any circumstances, move to Dr. Congo. Huffington Post rated Dr. Congo, Dr. Congo as the sixth worst, worst place for human rights in 2013. Some downsides to living in Dr. Congo are as follows. Rape and other sexual violence have been described as the worst in the world. The Second Congo War was the deadliest war since the, Chi the Chinese Civil War, resulting in 5.6 million deaths. And finally, their government is full of corrupt and immoral leaders. However, if you can get past the horrible living condi conditions and other atrocious things that make Dr. Congo pathetic, it is actually a very interesting place. They have multiple interesting species of wildlife such as the silverback gorilla, hippopotamus, and the African forest elephant. Their natural resources are also very abundant, but this doesn't reflect their failing economy. In conclusion, Dr. Congo is a completely horrible place with horrible leadership. However, if you are looking for a place with unique wildlife and beautiful biomes, Dr. Congo is the place for you. This video is sponsored by Presley's Guitar Shop, the place with it all.